One of the most versatile fashion chameleons in Hollywood, this Batwoman star experimented with both androgynous and more traditionally feminine looks as she made her climb up the ladder to fame. Let's dive into Ruby Rose's changing looks. Personally, I love it because you get to, you know, feel empowered by putting makeup on and, and working out what you're going to wear and it's part of your whole entire being. In 2008, Rose hadn't yet made her transition into acting and was still a fresh-faced MTV Australia VJ when she arrived at the 30th anniversary Golden Stay Rock and Roll Musical Extravaganza charity lunch on June 27th in Sydney, Australia. She looked every bit the ingenue, wearing her pin straight hair mid-length and starred with blunt full frontal bangs sweeping over her eyebrows. Rose earned her MTV Australia VJ gig by participating in a series of challenges, with her most notable task being an on-air power drinking stunt. According to News Australia, Rose quipped, Drinking 100 shots of beer in 100 minutes and then vomiting on national television. That really made Mum proud. At the Chambord Shine Awards 2009 on October 20th in Sydney, Australia, Rose hit the red carpet, ditching her dark locks for short platinum blonde strands. Chicly cinching her little black dress with her purple patent leather belt, Rose attended the ceremony to honour emerging fashion designers across Australia. Rose later told Birdie in 2015 that her impulsive, constant experimentation with colour had severely damaged her hair. She explained, I used to experiment with colour a lot more, but once my hair started falling out, because I was blonde, black, red, blonde, black, red repeat, it was like, maybe just stick to cutting it. Rose flirted with the decidedly more feminine side at the 24th Annual ARIA Awards on November 7, 2010 in Sydney, Australia. Wearing a wavy wig and purple smoky eye, Rose completed the more traditionally girly look with a low-cut lace gown. She told Elle that this outing's departure from her stylistic norm was an intentional one. The actress explained, I really love the idea of shocking people on the red carpet at that event, and so I did. This philosophy seems to fall in line with Rose's outlook on her own gender fluidity. The actress told Elle in a separate profile, I have a lot of characteristics that would normally be present in a guy and then less that would be present in a woman. But then sometimes I'll put on a skirt. Rose showcased her adventures with hair extensions again on the red carpet of the 26th Annual ARIA Awards on November 29, 2012 in Sydney, Australia. Trying out an edgy new wave rocker hairdo, Rose had a honey blonde hairpiece clipped onto the right side of her hair for a long ponytail and had the left side plaited for a decidedly flirty and funky look. According to her interview with Birdie in 2015, 1980s new wave icon Annie Lennox was one of Rose's childhood beauty role models. She explained, I know that growing up, I had a thing for Annie Lennox because of her kind of androgyny, definitely. She always had such chiseled cheekbones, but I didn't have that as much. I just contour. In 2013, Rose continued her hair color experimentation when she arrived at the Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week Australia trend show in Sydney, Australia on August 21st with a lavender bob. Rose later disclosed that she had done the dye job herself and explained her carefree coloring exploits to Birdie in 2015, saying, with hair, it grows back. And secondly, you can wear wigs if you need to. Rose also showed off a pair of luscious, well-groomed eyebrows at the fashion show. The actress shared her low-maintenance approach to brow beauty with Coverture in 2016, having been blessed with naturally full ones since birth. She explained, I don't do much with them. I'll either tint them or I'll just fill them in a little bit. Rose rocked an undeniable Three Stooges vibe on the red carpet at the Nylon Young Hollywood Party in West Hollywood, California on May 7, 2015. Rose had apparently made the dramatic change to her dark tresses on a trip to Singapore in April that year. She joked to Elle, This haircut everyone hated. I loved it even more when people hated it. Rose has always had a free and fearless devil-may-care attitude to personal style. She told Birdie in 2020, The first time I shaved my head, I was 16. I shaved it myself and ended up with all of these bald patches and whatever, but it was a really freeing experience. I think everyone should do it once. I mean, hair grows back. In 2019, Rose kicked off a promotional tour for her new role of the title character on The CW's Batwoman at the CW Summer 2019 TCA party in Beverly Hills, California on August 4th. 
At the event, Rose wore head-to-toe Dior, pairing a chic and comfy-looking checkered turtleneck with a flowing ankle-length mesh skirt. On her promotional rounds for Batwoman, Rose insisted that while the superhero is a fellow lesbian, her sexuality was the least compelling aspect to her character. She told The Washington Post, "...that's why this show is so important. People being straight don't get that kind of attention. It's the least interesting thing about Batwoman." I hope that just everything I do in life just shows that there's, a, there's, a, there's room for people like myself to get jobs in acting, in entertainment. Rose's time at home during the coronavirus pandemic of 2020 may have inspired her to dye her hair again into not one, but two summery shades. She took to her Instagram in April to show off a buzz cut dyed equal parts neon pink and electric blue. Her caption read, What can I say? Sometimes you just need to feel blue and other times you need pink to lighten your day. Rose's allusion to her possible varying moods may not just be a nod to the enduring times felt by all during the pandemic. It was announced on May 19th that Rose would not return to her starring role on The CW's Batwoman, after the series aired its season 1 finale just two days earlier. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon! Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one!